gave up on my body. Amen. He pulled up on my body. Praise to God. I came out of my thing. God is a healer. Amen. So I pulled up on my body. Amen. My temperature went up to 100 and something. Amen. Uh, and uh, someone told me, do you know that thing probably cancers? Amen. Now, you know something wrong with it when, when you swell like that. And that thing come up on you and your temperature go up to, you know, it is cancer. You need to go have it checked out. Amen. But I remember laying in bed one night and I said, Lord, you know, you got to use the word. That's right. I said, Lord, I said, now, you took a rib out of Adam's side Amen. and made a woman. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And I said, Lord, you, as I sleep, you can open this thing up. Glory Amen. God. Thank God. Amen. That's what I told the Lord. And I went on to sleep, and let me tell you, before day that morning, I felt something just warm running down the leg. And let me tell you something. God. God split that thing open while I was sleeping. Praise and the blood, and the pus came out of it. Just, 
I got one more day here, and I need some money. And, and the Lord, I prayed an honest prayer. Now, I didn't have money in my pocket. Then prayed that prayer. That's right. I didn't have my card on where I could use my card or go to the teller and get money. Amen. They wouldn't leave me to pray that prayer. Right. That would be fair and honest. Right. But I actually didn't have no resources at the time. Amen. Only. And I said, Lord, I need some money just for one more day. Amen. And since I prayed that prayer, I wasn't even on my knees. I was walking to the convention center. Amen. Thank God. And I prayed that prayer, walking through the convention center. You know, you can get a prayer through. It may not be on your knees. That's right. Oh, yeah. But you can get on it now. I believe you ought to get on it. Amen. Amen. I believe you can get on my knees. Amen. Amen. But I was walking through that, that, that convention center. And I said, Lord, I, I need the money for one more day. Amen. And I wasn't going in the center shaking. That's right, that's right. <laughs> you know, shaking don't move God. Especially if empty shaking. Hallelujah. I prayed that prayer. And see, I went on and kept on walking where I was going. And you know, I sometimes suffer from some bad, serious sinus problems sometimes. And look like my sinus started acting up. Mm. But that was God's way of giving me my blessing. Amen. Amen. Thank God. Amen. And I was walking out there and I felt that sinus about to drain and I, was, I reached in my pocket to pull out a handkerchief. Amen. And when I pulled the handkerchief out and opened it up, there was a Christmas gift to the Lord. Me to open my handkerchief up. Amen, thank now I'm going to go put the money in my handkerchief. Amen, thank God. Don't tell me what God can't do. Amen. 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 You know our child of God don't have nothing to worry about. Yeah. If you really, 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 really believe that God you serve it, you ain't got nothing to worry about. Yeah. Because God promised to supply you As y'all say, live in. Right. I'm talking about somebody that believes in God. Yeah. You don't have nothing to worry about. It's just a matter of time that God can bring you out. Yeah. It's just a matter of time that He can fix it. Yeah. That's all it is. Oh, it's just a matter of time that God can work it out. Amen. And sometimes the whole enemy calls you. The works. Yeah, right. You know, right. hope that is seen is not hope. Yeah, right. Hallelujah to God. Oh no. But it pays to have faith in God. Yeah. And some of you might not want to hear this, but let me tell you something. The Bible says it's impossible to please God yeah. if you ain't got no faith. Right. You that say, I ain't got no faith, but let me tell you something. You are not pleasing God. Yeah. And nobody can condemn that. And that's what the Bible says. Yeah. Along this way, you got to have some faith. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Right. You got to have some faith. You got to see everything. Amen. Right. You got to understand everything. Amen. But the God that you're trusting in, He'll bring you out. Yeah. Amen. Amen. You got to believe Him. Glory to God. Even if it's working against you. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. You gotta believe in these bad news. Yeah. In bad times. Yeah. Oh, I see something coming in here. Yes, Lord. Amen. I know the traveling tonight won't be before you long. Get me sent Mark chapter 5, verse 36. Yeah. Ain't nothing playing. I'm preaching by the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. I'm sure somebody can need it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Sent Mark 5 and 36 coming here to me. Amen. Since you got to believe God. In spite of bad news. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah. Hallelujah to God. Amen. You gotta believe God in spite of bad news. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Yeah. Oh yes. You gotta believe God in spite of bad news. In spite of bad situations. Yeah. In spite of bad. Hey, 
walk our way down. Amen. What the Bible says. We all know. Come on. Certain woman. Certain woman. Which had an issue of blood 12 years. She had an issue of blood 12 years. And had suffered many things of many physicians. And she suffered many things of many physicians. And had spent all that she had. Sometimes I'm going to run to the doctor. Let me tell you something. The doctor can't save you. Oh, no. oh, no. Doctor can't do it. Let me tell you something. If doctor medicines can, 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 can heal and save people, they'll have no graveyards. They have no cemeteries. People dying in the hospitals. If that medicine could heal, then they won't die. Sometimes some of the things they give them kill them. Yeah. Oh, yes. That's right. That's right. When I went through with my father, they said, well, you know, he, uh, you know, he said he wanted to come home. I uh, brought him home. Brought him home. And, uh, and she said, well, we'll give him some. Uh, here is this bottle here. Uh, this is um, uh, morphine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And say, you know, give him this here. But now let me tell you something. That morphine won't do nothing but slow your heart down. This is going to kill you. Jesus. Amen. That's what most people do. Amen. One of the effects is that it keeps relaxing your heart. Amen. 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 Make you feel comfortable. Yes. Amen. Thank God. Amen. Jesus. And, you, and the heart will get so relaxed because it beats to stop. Amen. Amen. Right on that. Thank God. And every time I, I would go there and, and, and uh, the nurse would come by and see me. Did you give him some of the morphine? I said, no, he didn't complain about my pain. Amen. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and, and I brought the little bar, and my brother soon about to give me that bar there. Mm -hmm. I took that bar, and I went somewhere, and I hit it. I said, now, if she find it, mm -hmm. I'm going to give her, I know she need me a plunger. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> when I put it in, you can't just go get it. That's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> I said, if she find it, mm -hmm. I know she can plunder it in there. She yeah, made right. me so I, I hit it. Amen. 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 So I'm saying now, if, if these things can heal, you know, if, if, if the Bible says there ain't no healing medicine, yes. what are you looking at? They don't even look at Oh, y'all help Amen. me. Amen. She spit all she had. And was nothing. 
be better. Some folks spend it and waste their time on the wrong thing. Yeah. Come on. Was nothing better. Not better. That's right. But rather. But rather she grew up. Grew what? She grew worse. She grew bad. Yeah, let me tell you something. You fool up with them. They give you something to fix you. Kid, and then they knock out the hill. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And sometimes they go, this right here, uh, you know, it, it, uh, this that is to, uh, it'll lower your blood pressure, mm -hmm. but then it, um, sometimes it, you know, messes up the kidneys. Mm -hmm. So you fix the door, and it wasn't all out. You still got a problem. Amen. 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 You fix the window, then the ceiling collapsed. Amen. You know, Jesus can heal you, you won't have no side effects. Come on, y'all do. Yeah. But man give you something side effects. Amen. Fix it. I've heard people say, why are you on? Um, because the medication that I was on so much, they say, it messed up my kidneys. It damaged my liver because I continuously took this medication. One of the side effects was that it would mess up your liver. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Side effects. Yes. But let me tell you something. Jesus will heal you. You won't have no side effects. Yes. Right. Amen. Thank God. Amen. 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 You won't have no side effects. Thank you, Jesus. But you spent all her living. Mm -hmm. Amen. And the Bible said she didn't get better. She grew worse. 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 That's what the Bible says. Yes, sir. Come on. Right. But rather grew worse. Rather grew worse. Amen. When she had heard of Jesus. When she had heard of Jesus. Yes. Came in the press behind her. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. She came in the press. Yeah. Ha huh? Behind and touched his garment. She touched his garment. What she said. She if, said. If I may touch but his clothes. Let me tell you. You see, faith. Amen. Nobody preached to her. And told us, well, if you go and just touch my God, feel of Jesus garment. Amen. Just go and touch his garment. Amen. Thank God. You'll get something. Mm -hmm. Nobody preached that to her. That's right. But her faith oh, yeah. say that if I can just Amen. touch but yes. his clothes. Uh, but his clothes. I shall be whole. Amen. I shall what? Behold. Your faith can bring you out now. Oh, oh yeah, your faith can bring you out. I say your faith can bring you out. Yeah. Come on. Yes, I shall be whole. I shall be whole. And straightway the fountain of her blood. And straightway. Straight. Amen. Amen. The fountain of her blood. Glory to God. Was dried up. Yes, and she felt in her body. She felt in her body. She was healed. Yes. Felt in a body. She got healed. Yes. Yes. She was healed. Come on. Of that plague. She was healed. Mm -hmm. Of that plague. Come on. And Jesus immediately. Jesus immediately. Knowing in himself that virtue had gone out of him. Amen. My God. Jesus knew something happened. He felt something that he Praise God. Hallelujah. God. Yeah. Come on. Turn him about. He what? Turn him. He turned. His disciples said unto him, Thou seest the multitude thronging thee. Lord, you see all of these people. Uh -huh. And you can ask me, you can ask us who touch you. Amen. Touch you. <coughs> and sayest thou, uh, Who touched me? Who touched me? And he looked round about. He looked round about to see her. To see her. That had done this thing. That have done this thing. Amen. But the woman, but the woman fearing, she fearing and trembling, and trembling, knowing what was done in her, she knew what was done in her. Ah, uh, came and fell down before him. She came and fell down before him and told him all the truth. Told him all the truth. And he said to her, He said to her, Daughter, daughter, thy faith. Look at this. Your faith can bring you out. Amen. Your faith can bring you out. Come on. Thy faith has made thee whole. Thy faith has made thee whole. Go in peace. Go in peace. And behold of thy faith. And be what? Whole. Behold. Yes, 
But let me tell you something. You still got to believe God in spite of bad news. Amen. With all the tears running down. All the crying. All the grief. All the heaviness. Amen. You still got to believe God in spite of your bad news. Yeah. Come on. And when he was come in. When he was come in. He said unto them. He said unto them. Why make ye this ado? Why do you make all this ado? And we. Take 
Everybody with you now. Oh, 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 you take somebody with you. They'll be a load to you themselves. Oh, they ain't been easy. Let me tell you. 
But they ain't got oh. nothing in you. Thank God. Yeah. Thank God. This ain't no uh, reflection on the mother. It's certainly not on the mother. Yeah, but you just turn the mother. But because you turn the age 60, you get the title of a mother, but you got to have something in you. Amen. Oh, yeah. Thank God. Oh, God. Oh, help me, Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Jesus. You got to have something in you. Praise God. Amen. Thank God. Oh, you know, I always give me trouble. Praise God. Help me, Holy Ghost. But for more, I'm going to be a mother, I'm turning 60. But yeah, you can be a mother. <laughs> like, like some folks say, like some of you young people go around and say, I'm grown now, I'm 18. Look at I caught an old 18 year old spirit. That's what, yeah, you know, that's an old 18 year old spirit going around. Yeah. You ain't no more grown. Thank you, Jesus. Because you can't, you can't handle yourself yet. Yeah. That's right. I caught an 18 year old spirit. You know the devil get in that spirit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I'm 18, I'm grown. You ain't no grown. You can't take care of yourself. Amen. <laughs> Look out. Out. I'm not, you know, saying, Lord, you're beating up the young people and this is the youth. I'm not beating up nobody. Y'all better get off that stuff about somebody beating y'all up. Fire ain't gonna beat you if you don't get right. Amen. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well, I, yeah. I, we didn't go there, but we're not going to go there. They, they told Isaiah to prophesy smooth things. Yeah. Some folk want to hear something smooth. Yeah. Some people want to go to churches where the preacher just preach smooth stuff. Oh. Give it hot Daniel uh, in the lion's den. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't saving nobody. Daniel done got out that lion den. What you would do when you get in it? Daniel did what he got to do and got the victory and got him a testimony. What you would do? You got to get strength. Yes. Amen. Yeah, come on. Yes, sir. They laughed him to school. They laughed at him. But don't your mother get upset and be offended. That ain't nothing to make about it. I'm just simply telling you. Amen. Amen. Thank God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. You got to believe God in spite of bad news. Yes. Hallelujah. Oh, I guess somebody said, Lord, this bad news right now, you're giving me. <laughs> you better believe God through this. Yes. Right. Amen. Come on, what the Bible says. Damsel is not dead. Damsel is not dead. But sleeping. But she's sleeping. Thank you, Jesus. They laughed him to scorn. They laughed him to scorn. Yes, sir. But when he had put them all out. When he had put them all out. He take it to father. He did what? Take it to the father. He took it to father. And the mother of the damsel. And the mother of the damsel. And them that were with him. And them that were with him. And entered in where the damsel was lying. Amen. Come on. And he took the damsel by the hand. Took her by the hand. And said and unto her. And said unto her. Talitha Kuma. Come on. Amen. Which is being interpreted. Being interpreted. Damsel. Damsel. I say unto thee. I say unto thee. Arise. Arise. God. God. And straightway the damsel arose. You see what can happen when you believe God in bad news. You see what can happen when you believe God in bad news? Amen. She got up. Yeah. But that was a bad news now. Amen. Your daughter dead. Yeah. But he said, don't be scared. Only believe. Amen. I'm telling you, believe God tonight. You got to believe God in spite of your bad news. I don't care what situation you're looking at tonight. I don't care what circumstance you're looking at tonight. Believe God in spite of all that. Believe God. Oh, yeah. If they don't give you your papers and say after tomorrow, you ain't got no more job, believe God anyway. Because the same one that say that can come back and tell you, stay here. That's right. That's the truth. That's what happened. God told the prophet, I said, go, go to your house. Amen. Go to your house. You get your house in order, you will die and you not get it. No Hezekiah. Prophet went and told Hezekiah what God said. Now God yeah, said that. Yeah, God said it, yeah. God said that. Yeah. The prophet didn't say it of his own. God 
said. But the same one that told him he was going to die. Amen. God sent that same one back. Amen. We left out the court, y'all. And now go back and tell him. Amen. I'm going to give you 15 more years. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You got to believe. Yeah. Some folks just said that they believe that they hear something. Amen. They're going to die. Amen. They believe that they see something. Amen. They believe that they feel something. Amen. Then they die. But let me tell you something, even if you feel something bad, you got to believe God in spite of bad news. Yeah. Even if you feel like your whole neck coming off. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You got to believe God can do it. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. You might look at everything in the house and say, oh, Lord, the light will be turned off tomorrow. Mm -hmm. The water will be turned Amen. off. Thank the eviction tomorrow. Everything. Amen. You got to believe God in spite of all of that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because God can do it. Yes, he can. Any way he wants. Great way. Hey, oh, yeah. come back to you know what I'm saying? This was the wrong note. Come on. Amen. 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 But you got, don't be scared. You got to believe yes, in the God you serve. Yes. Amen. Thank God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. You might look at the situation, the situation might say, oh, my God. Amen. You can get letters that don't look good, don't read good, but you got to believe God in spite of what's been written. Amen. Amen. All right. I'm, I, I better stop that. You got to believe God in spite of bad news. Believe God in spite of it. Because by, by them believing God, how was it? Did she get up? She arrived, didn't she? She got up and did what? Now she get up and she start walking around. But she was dead. God can change your situation if you believe it. You got to believe God in spite of bad news. I don't care what bad you're looking at. You got to believe God in spite of all that. All right. I gave you what he put in my heart. Y'all, you got to believe God in spite of bad news. All right, let's close that out.